Hi guys, it's me Malcolm. So, I'd like to discuss my review of another Netflix movie that I saw three days ago. Go. At first, I didn't want to. At first, I didn't want to see it because how it is. And get this, it's another, another Gilmore production. The Wrong Missy. Oh my God. Yeah, this one involved, involved, oh, not Gilmore, Happy Madison production. My bad. Yeah, this guy, this involved, followed Tim, played by David Spade, who had a, who had a crazy girl as a blind date. She had, she was absolute, absolute out of absolute insane. It was like having Harley Quinn or I thought I paused Sorry sorry about that. I thought I really paused this. I mean she was crazy though. Though I mean, I mean all the stuff she did, like half bringing a big ass knife knife to her day. Um, t trying to have sex with him and while he was sleeping, uh, e even a even a blowjob. <laughs> um, what are the odds? <laughs> but there were there were some bad moments with her, but some good moments though. How how she helped his boss of fixing his marriages, becoming a like hypnotizing him, him pretending, like imagine, imagining the, imagining him that Tim is his nana. <laughs> nana. That was c quite funny though. I really did like the, sh like the shark scene. This scene. There was this crazy scene, scene where, where Tim and his boss went inside, inside the tank, inside the tank. It's like the shark cage, trying to see a shark, but it was went way too tense where Missy just ex accidentally puked inside the ocean. Ocean, the shark attracted them. Crazy. And and I was, but but I kind of despise despise the character played by Rob Schnauter, a uh, another Hawaiian Hawaiian character. This one that has. No fingers, only a thumb, thumb and a pinky. Ugh. That thing really did creep me out, and I kind of despise the, despise how he, how he looks now. To be honest, I just think Rob Schneider's done. He should never stop playing ra racial characters ever. Please, no more. But as I was saying, I really did like it how there's another leaf over Missy, how she's not really that that bad though. I mean, I mean t him, her and Tim, Tim do make a good couple though. I kind of like it how they really, really dated, dated in Hawaii in that nighttime. Well, how they really get to know each other more and all that. <sighs> That, that it was really going well, but it was shocking though how she found out that she was she wasn't the real girl sh that she invited her. Huh? It really broke her heart how she just left him, left him in Hawaii. Uh, she was pers it really broke broke him, and he tried to make it right. 
So, but I'm glad he did found her again, and they did, did you, know, did became a great couple. I was shocked that, shocked that. Stop. Wait for it. Vanilla Ice was in this. Oh my God, he had a cameo too. I did not see that coming. You know, it definitely reminds me how he was in That's My Boy. Boy. He was more he was more of a more of a real more of a real actor than a cameo in that movie. I really did like that. So so for this movie, The Wrong Missy, I definitely give it hmm, a a 6.5 or a six and a half. Yeah. I was about to give it a seven at first, but to heck with it. There were some moments I didn't like though, so yeah. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you get a chance to see The Wrong Missy on Netflix. Bye.